Well, I could say good morning, but it's about one o'clock. And uh, gonna take a walk. I've been looking, trying to work out where to go. I'm a little bit lost again here. Can't really find a, a town centre. Here's the estate agents look. In my apartment is up there above that shop. It, visually for me it doesn't look very nice. The room is absolutely beautiful. It really is a nice room. So I'm gonna walk to a place called St Margaret's. St Margaret's is um, kind of a little bit closer into Richmond from here. And um, I did look found places like Teddington are still in the um, Freedom Pass and again it's it's cheaper than I'm going so far out way out off the underground line that it will be difficult for me to get back into town as and when I want to so I'm reappraising some areas Jim Rocks told me to have a look at Muswell Hill. I've been out this way. It's where Low Hardy is. My, I kind of call him my tattooist. He's uh, inked most of my Diamond Dog Bowie tattoo on my arm. I inked all of it. Um, I don't think Muswell Hill, because it's very difficult for me to get out there from Paddington, and it's a little bit like here. The only reason I'm considering out here. It's an hour from Paddington to here, really, best part of an hour. The only reason is because Richmond seems, uh, well, A, it's very beautiful, but also seems cheaper than many other areas. You go further into town, you get less and it costs the same or more. You get good value. Once you've got your head around, you're paying that sort of amount, you get good value there, Richmond. So let's see what, uh, See what it brings as we walk up. We gotta go back up, boy. Uh, Twickenham Station, and then St Margaret's is around the corner. It's about half an hour walk. Bam beat. I won't be uh, filming the whole walk, so let's see. It's all pretty, pretty bland, pretty ordinary around here. Builders, merchants. That's a pub where I had a meal last night. Steak was pretty tough to be fair. It looked good, but it wasn't, uh, certainly wasn't fantastic. But what a beautiful building. What a beautiful building, the Three Kings. they got rock and roll night on in the gastro pub well, uh, not sure about that screw fix yeah i'm pretty sure i would say this is the center of twickenham like the shops and that you've got a fishmongers here that's cool they got meat as well butchers fish uh all that fresh fish in there Putting it all out. That bloke's finger in it. Oh, he's his staff. He's allowed butchers as well. Meat in there. Uh, that's what you like. Oh gosh. That's really nice. There's the, there's the main butcher. Look at those joints. And that is called Brown's Artisan Butchers. Yeah, lovely. Actually, it was, sorry, it was a, a butcher's and a fishmonger's side by side. Possibly owned by the same company. Now one thing you can see, look at that great, those great outfits there in the old um, second-hand clothing charity shops. I bet you get some nice clobber in there. I need to go in and have a little mosey myself perhaps. Got some old, old stuff. <clears throat> Iceland, 
Yeah, this this is the main this is the main street. Smiths, where all the shops are, for sure. I came this way on the bus, so this time I'm going to walk back. That's what you need. Look, you've got butchers, you've got a fishmonger, and you've got a vegetable shop. Fruit and veg. George. Tesco's. That's within only just over a full five minutes away from where that flat was. And of course you got the KFC that always follows me around. Poundland. More shops this way. Uh, looks like the main road goes that way. And I'll pick it up in a minute. I've got Greg's look. Uh, but what I'm going to go, not surprisingly, is down at Church Street. Oh look, and Water Lane there. Let's go down Water Lane first, then I'll come back up and do Church Street. So this is right in the town centre area. <clears throat> Keeps raining on and off, which is a bit of a nuisance. So, what am I feeling? What am I vibing? I'm vibing because I've also been looking about going back to Thailand. Maybe try and have a better exploration of Bangkok because I didn't enjoy Bangkok last time. I didn't really know where I was going, what I was doing. And although I still wouldn't, I've been looking at some of the condos that you can rent for a month for around £500 a month. Beautiful one bedroom condos with cooking facilities, not that you need it in a place like Thailand. So, you know, I keep going back to originally moved out of Soho because I couldn't afford the rent there. And I'm still really, well, I have been considering a rent of around 1500 quid on the basis that it's a thousand pounds to live in Didcot. So you think, well, okay, if I stay in the catchment area for the Freedom Pass it's not so bad but when you compare it which you can't compare it but, uh, 500 quid a month in Thailand three months in Thailand or I think that will be the long term answer eventually I'll end up getting a place back in the UK and um, and then for the three or four months of the cold winter just bugger off to Thailand anyway, stay somewhere like that. You could justify both, uh, doing both things, keeping the flat and going away. Uh, yeah, the flights are a bit dearer, but as I've said, certainly I've got three or four good flights to use up with my air miles. So, it's a lovely little place here. <clears throat> Like a palm tree there. It reminds you a bit of Spain or whatever, doesn't it? Nice building. Bit of wood on the sides, quite a bit of maintenance. One thing I can just do, one coming over now, definitely in the flat I was in and here. It is lower down on the flight path to Heathrow. This is lower than, the planes are lower here than at um, Richmond. Twickenham Rowing Club over there. Just come up here because obviously I saw a little pub. Have a look at that. The Barmy Arms. Barmy Army. 
balmy army. <laughs> Beautiful, look at that lovely little cottage there. Very nice, huh? And across the river, next to Twickenham Rowing Club, we'll show you in a minute, is Eel Pie Island. Very famous Long John Baldry look with Rod Stewart. Stones. Wallywood of East. 2002. That picture's from Mick. So that's so that building there. So it looks like it's over there. Trying to find that building, it's, when I looked at it, it's got one, two, three, four, five dormer windows in the roof. It's got three. So, it's not there if they take part of it away, which I would doubt. <coughs> or it's further back over there that you can't quite see. There's a little film crew going on here as well. Doing a bit of filming. Sorry. That was rage. That was rage. I'll see if I can find what film it is because I saw a clipper board with the something wrote on it. So there, look. <clears throat> well, the wall here, which is obviously had a bit of rebuilding over its years, that sign says. March 12, 1774, the river, the water came rising up to this mark. So, that's pretty high. I guess that's why they put in the Thames Barrier to stop things like that happening. There's the plane that was taking off, going up. Go back there and see if I can get a glimpse of what the film is they're making off the clipper board. I can't find that big old building. Oh, it looks a bit serious stuff now. I think they're shooting a shot. I have to stay out of the way. Well, there's the clipper board around the side. short rom-com I spoke to one of the girls there who's thinking of doing it and uh, thinking of becoming involved in the film industry whether as an actor or I don't know my advice to her was just do it if you think you want to try it try it don't have any regrets so talking of regrets which a little way should we walk out what have we got this way <clears throat> 
didn't find that big building with the five dormer windows. Could be on the other side, I guess. There's the back of the church there, look. The other side of the church, front of the church. Just the church. This is definitely the nicest part of it. There was music there, hopefully I've managed to not get it. Yeah, this is nice here. That was that little street I was thinking of walking down, you see. Look at this. I'd spend a few hours in there, wouldn't I? Fair, yeah. for the collectors St Mary's Church Hall oh, that's the church I was filming I guess but yeah there are the five dormers one two three four five so that is where the stones Ronnie Wood all the well all the 60s music I'll put a link about your pie in the description of course Maggie Mays London Nice, nice to see the Ukrainian flags out with the British Union Jack as well. Very nice. Another lovely pop there, look, just, just down from the old, the old pie. Have a jazz night here. Yeah. Well, it's livening up a bit, isn't it? Good example, look. I can't see what the rest of the two bed flat is, but it was a two bed flat and it was £1,300 a month. Maybe you are a bit too disconnected from train stations or whatever. Look, one bedroom apartment looks nice. 1450 a month. 1300 I've seen this one. This is, I'd seen this when I've looked at it on Zoopla. And I love the fireplace. Twickenham, thirteen hundred. It's a thousand pound a month to live in bloody Didcot. Well, you might get two. No, you won't get two bed for that in Didcot. So one bedroom, first floor flat, thirteen hundred pound. Oh, keen. It's got all the old-fashioned ceiling and everything. That one. Yeah, it's all very lovely here. We have a gales in Soho. We, they have a gales in Soho. And this is interesting because this is the other thing I really have to do before I commit to another place. Sorrento, Twickenham. I have to go back to Sorrento to see 
restaurant Sorrento. I'll put a link to that in the description. Looks like a little independent place. I worked in Sorrento in a bar called the English Inn in um, 1980 after the European Championships. England played. It was my first sort of international World Cup tour. It was the European Championships. Went to Sorrento after one of the games. Most of the England fans went home and I decided to stay out there. And I worked the whole summer in the English in Sorrento. And I found online that one of the two, I think it was two brothers. Here we are back at Greg's, look back on the main. You see all this is, mm, it's, it's all right, it's a bit bleh. But around that little lane there, that was, that was the one. Church Street, absolute, complete fine. Uh, yeah, so I, I'd split up from a long-term girlfriend and I think I can't remember what job I was doing. I kind of remember saying I wasn't going to come back to work. And uh, stayed out there the whole summer. And I was going to go back the second summer. And they messaged me to go back. And uh, I got back with a long-term girlfriend, so I didn't go. And it's not really a regret because it's all part of life, isn't it? Barber head case. Tell you what, it's cold holding the bloody camera today. Very cold. Be at one cocktail bar just off that roundabout again there's a pizzeria here so clearly this is the, the main sort of high street there's azizis up here japanese restaurant brew house twickenham I think it'd be fair to say it's not as nice as uh, Richmond, but it's okay. I've warmed to it a little bit. I've warmed to them prices. One bedroom, thirteen fifty. If it's down a street like that street over there, look. Mind you, I've lost the link to the train station I was looking for. I think I've definitely gone the wrong way for that. Oh, there's a surprise. Church Lane, that's the back way into Church Lane. Oh, there's the church again. Look. We want pizza tonight. We want pizza tonight. And running parallel with the river, there's the Eel Pie Museum. There's the Sunday 12 to 6. Birthday party there. Taking them town centre, Richmond Road. St Margaret's, yeah. I actually forgot Church Street shopping. I forgot that that's where I was heading for. St Margaret's. I'll put the. Oh, there's the. Look, I'm there. You are here. And the Twickenham station is to the left of me. So I can do that. Five minutes walk. Ten minute walk. Ham House and Gardens. Don't think I'm going to make that now. It's Twickenham. Eel Pie Island. It's a big island right across. Twickenham Yacht Club. So this is says municipal offices. It's York House and York House Gardens. Let's go back and have a look at the whole imposing structure. Uh, 
I will find a link and put a link into York House as to what it was. It's also telling us here, London Borough of Michigan. Parks are open for everyone. It's just a park club. We need to find out what York House was originally. And as I say, I'll put a link in the description when I find out. Certainly looks very nice. So from York House over there, I'm gonna go down here because this should take me to Richmond train station. And then I might just go on a train journey just for the sheer hell of it, but I'll have to do it in a, another video. Uh, maybe I'll go to Waterloo and back and just see how far it is. Shall I? Let's see. So of course, as you'd expect, I've changed my mind again. I didn't walk to Twickenham train station because my original plan... At the next lights, turn left. Okay. My original plan was to walk to St Margaret's because again, there were some flats in that area. And like this is St Margaret's, this is the train station just up the road here. I think, I was thinking walking all the way through, I walked about another half a mile or so all through this area. And it's too rural really. I really want to be bang on top of a tube or train line. So yeah, okay, up here I'll be bang on top of a train line. But back there where I've just walked from, well look how thin those houses are the skinniness of that. What the hell's going on there? Like they lost the back of their houses. Uh, fascinating. I bet there's a story to tell. Let's see if I can find out, find out what road this is called. But the fact I've walked so far from where I'm staying, I can jump on the train here and just go uh, maybe two steps back or one step back. Get back to the flat. It's really cold today. The wind's cold. And that's the street where those narrow houses were. Let's see what I can find out about them. Link in description if I do. And this is St Margaret's. Another chase back and they certainly control the area. I'll have a little look there. I'll cross over just to show you St Margaret's. So I did make it there. If, yeah, all right, I could leave you right here, you're living here, and then just walk to that underground. It still wouldn't be enough. Nothing's enough, is it, for me? But it wouldn't be enough because the times you didn't want to travel in, what would you do here? Oh, lovely little shop there, look. Uh, this isn't a place that I don't think I would really enjoy. Whereas, which one do you? Got all the branded stuff there. I like a brand, don't I? So from St Margaret's you can go down to London Waterloo and on this side where I need to go, just one stop St Margaret's to Twickenham. Uh, it's always ready and let it keep on that same train. So it doesn't matter which train I get from platform 3, they all go through Twickenham. Because it's only one stop. Be interesting to see how much that is, won't it? Single journey. Train to Waterloo. Didn't continue doing that one, but the one's getting on is quite a fine. Uh, gonna go back towards the flat. 
Oh, I've actually got nearly 15 minute wait here. Here we go. Back to Twickenham. Shepparton, the next stop is Twickenham. And there we go. Uh, you can never read it, can you, that? Oh, boy. What do you have? And here we are back at Twickenham. Funny old day. Did I achieve anything? Mm. Got a few steps in. Not sure apart Mr. the rent there, let me see. I suppose. Could Google them, couldn't I? See the sign? Could I? Not really. No. It's not quite enough. I think going on around here. But they do have a travel lodge. I did find, I did check out that for pricing before I booked this Airbnb, which is, I say, I think was £58 a night, three nights, then they charge you the 50 quid cleaning. So basically, three nights in this Airbnb, which I'll put a link in the description, of course. It was 200 quid all in. Oh, this hotel, or that hotel, uh, Travel Lodge, was um, 150 quid a night, I think. So, that'd have been 450 quid. No, thank you. Thailand hotels, obviously. <laughs> that swim up pool place I had, 36 quid a night, I think with a swim up pool that I had pretty much to myself and they cleaned every day it's like unbelievable really I know, it's a long way to go